Meet edible insect ambassador Joseph Yoon of Brooklyn Bugs. Right from the very beginning, I did not want to be identified as an insect chef because chefs can be very secretive and I believed in order for us to create the change and normalize edible insects that we need someone who can be inclusive, build communities, speak to policymakers and universities and really be a conduit for sharing and inclusivity. He's doing precisely that by preparing a bug banquet at San Diego State University. This here is a cricket powder, and crickets often considered the gateway bug. He'll be serving that gateway bug in zucchini breads and a French cheese puff. And the thing I love about serving this is that when people look at this, they're like, oh, what's that? That has bugs in it? It's like, well, yes, it does. When they eat it, they're like, huh. I have a look of almost disappointment. It tastes like food. It's like, bingo. You got it. And they almost want or expect it to taste disgusting because of the bugs. And then after they try it and realize just how delicious it is. Oh yeah, the light and airy. They often really would like to see what they're eating. And so they're, they're very likely to want to try something where they could actually see the insect and maybe work up to eating a scorpion. Scorpion kimchi will be on the menu for those who want to see the whole insect. These scorpions, which will also like really add a beautiful sense of, of flavor and, and really it's like the real sort of star and delicacy of this dish. All right, I'm not gonna put them all in there. Ow, just kidding. Uh, we leave the scorpions intact and we think there's just something so beautiful about having the opportunity to look at something like this, knowing that it's safe to eat, but seeing like the, the stinger on, on the scorpions, I think it's really quite beautiful. Yoon will be serving this on Friday at noon at SDSU's Ellen Ochoa Pavilion. He and food scientists will be on hand to discuss the culinary potential of edible bugs, as well as their nutritional and environmental benefits. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.